Hey guys, and welcome back to another YouTube video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you something that I made in Python. So it's going to be a little bit different. Usually I do tutorials or how-to videos, uh, but today I'm just going to kind of be showcasing one of the programs that I made. Now, Python is a great language. You can do a lot with it. And the reason I'm showing you this is because a lot of people think that Python is a beginner's language or just an intermediate language. And once you get advanced, you can't really use it uh, for that many things, which is definitely not true. Now, especially with game development, obviously there are better languages than Python, but you can go pretty far. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, then you won't know that I've been doing a Pygame programming series where I've been showing you guys how to program a uh, pretty simple game using Python and the module Pygame. Now this program here that I'm using does use Pygame and that's the main uh, like GUI for it. It's all in Pygame. There's a little bit of tkinter, but not that much. And this is what my main script looks like. Uh, it's about a thousand lines and I have four other files. So combined, we probably have about 3,500, 4,000 lines in this game, just to give you guys an idea. So this is fairly advanced. And again, if you guys want to see a tutorial on this or something like this, then let me know in the comments down below. I will warn you that I do use uh, some like advanced physics and some pretty advanced math in this. So if you're not into that, uh, then you might not want to see a tutorial on this as it is pretty complex, but I'll go ahead and uh, demo the game for you guys right now. So if we run the program here, you can see we've got uh, Super Mini Golf uh, by me, and then we have coins up here, which is going to be zero, and then the ball shop and your best score. So if I go over here, this is just one course. Uh, you could possibly add multiple courses into this. I just haven't done that yet. Uh, in the ball shop, we have all the different colored balls and pretty much based on the coins that you collect in the game, you can buy uh, different balls and then you can equip them from here. So I'm going to equip the green ball right now and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start running the program. Now you should hear a little bit of background noise. I have some music going on and you can see I have a little coin spinning, I have a little power bar down here and I can shoot this ball around. So pretty much the ball just follows my mouse like this. and if I click, look in the bottom left corner, you can see the power bar go, and then my ball will launch basically wherever I shoot it. Now, right now, the coin collision is not working just because I had to turn it off as I was testing something. Uh, but yeah, and then uh, if we go to the top right up here, you can see we have our power ups, and I have so this is power ball, this is mulligan, which means like take your shot again, and this is sticky ball. So, say for example, I put sticky ball on, and let's try to land it somewhere then the ball will stick directly where it is shot to. So all of this is, uh, all these graphics you can tell are just designed by me by hand. I know they're horrible, but uh, I just wanted something easy to use and something that I could get the right dimensions for. These power-ups uh, are inspired by an app on the App Store. I think it's called Super Stickman Mini Golf that I used to play all the time. So I kind of modeled this game after it. And there we go. So I get it in and now we are brought to the uh, to the score sheet after this. So you can see we have the par of the course. I just made this nine holes and then it's going to show your hole, the par, and then the, uh, how well you shot. So since I shot four, I get a little green and it shows you my score on the hole. So I'm just going to click to continue and now we're on the next level. Now it is a little bit glitchy sometimes the game, uh, especially because I didn't make it on this computer. I made it on a different computer. So sometimes it doesn't always work perfectly, but we'll go ahead and we'll shoot the ball. And I'm not going to play all of the levels because it will take a little bit of time, but you can see how it works. So if I get in the water, we get water hazard plus one stroke. And hopefully you guys are noticing the way that the ball moves is in like a perfect parabola kind of because there's no wind resistance, no air resistance. Uh, and it just works like it would work uh, in physics. So again, I just used the power shot there to get up. But you see, I didn't like that shot. I could just click the little M button here and then it would take me back to my last position and remove whatever strokes I gained from that last shot. So we'll go back to power shot here, launch ourselves up. And then again, once we get on the green here, what happens is you get into putting mode, which means that you can only shoot uh, in a straight line towards the hole. And all you have to do is just set your power uh, and then it works like that. So I don't know, you guys can let me know what you think of the game down below. Uh, yeah, so on that one I got plus four, so you see we get a little red nine, and then once you get to the end of the game, it's going to add up all your coins, uh, it's going to add up your score, and then if you had a better score than your previous score, it's going to save that and it's going to show it to you. So 
yeah, um, that's pretty much been the uh, golf game that I made in Python. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of it down below, and leave a like on this video, and subscribe to the channel.